Alright, welcome back to Mass Effect. In this video, we're grounded on the Citadel by the dickhole Udina. So, we can't leave the Citadel at this point. All we can do is explore the Citadel, so let's go and see if anyone needs help or something. Now, I know we've got to get to... Yeah, we've got to meet Anderson in Flux. Which is going to be our main thing here. What's this place? Oh, I didn't realise there was a lift here. Huh, neat. In fact, I think I've been in there before. I have, haven't I? Now, this is the way to the... Um, the traffic control centre. There might be something up here. You shall never know. Oh, sorry, Tyrion. Hello, guys. Nothing in here? No. Did you know Citadel Security is the largest multi-species law enforcement agency in Council space? I do now. I do now, indeed. Hello, Chalik. Good to see you, Commander. You too. Oh, who are you? Hello, Commander. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember talking to him before. I don't think there's much in this area. I doubt... I wonder if the bug's still there. <laughs> I believe we put it over here. Oh, there's a keeper which we obviously scanned before. And I can't access the bug if it is there. Quarians aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think we're all beggars and thieves. You mean you're not? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. Alright. Ooh, lots of lockers. And a lift of some kind that we cannot use. What is down here, anyway? What the hell is that? Um, that's a very big room of nothing. What's the point of that place? Huh. Well, let's keep going. There's got to be someone needing help somewhere on the Citadel. Because, I mean, we can't leave, so... Th th the only thing we can do can't just be... Meeting with Anderson. Can it? I, I suppose it could be. Now, let me actually go down the... Li In fact, I'm going to use the fast travel. What am I talk thinking of? I was going to use a lift behind this place here, but I've got a rapid transit here. Not fast travel, sorry. <laughs> right, now let's go to the markets and we'll work our, way, work our way around and then go to Flux last. Just in case. Just in case. Loading. Loading, loading, loading. Yes, I realise that. Hello, Verlis. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'll see what the shops have got. Because I would rather like some upgrades. I've got plenty of money. Plenty of dosh. Hello, Morlan. Hello there. Welcome to Morlan's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Yes, I do. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. Standard items, let's see. Go What? Why is there a license for the Geth Armory? Are we gonna be buying weapons from the Geth now? I mean I'm not complaining, but Jeez! Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous no. shop. Yeah. A few of my Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. Oh, let's be the non human armors, see if there's anything nice here. Ah, uh, there is some Turian stuff, actually. Holy balls! Oh, that's Turian. What am I thinking? I'm thinking Quarian. <laughs> I got the races mixed up. I'm sorry. Oh, that's significantly better for Tali, that. That's the only Quarian armor there is. Let's buy it. Might as well do so. We've got plenty of money to spare. 
Yeah, very nice. Now what's that she's got on? Ah, combat exoskeleton, and we can give her the energized weave as well. She's rather a beast with that. Well, let's keep going. And now into Cora's Den. Yes, I, I realize. I don't know why I pressed E there. Now, are we going to have to shoot people in here? Because we seem to have to shoot people a lot when we come in here. Yes, Tali? Dancers are highly respected among my people, but I get the feeling these women are not held in high esteem. No, dancers are held in high esteem among your people, are they? Interesting. And no, I wouldn't say these women were respected. I really, really wouldn't. Well, he's having fun. We Asari are more accepting of our sexuality than most other species. Some club owners like to exploit this by hiring us as dancers. Ah, I see. I am not used to this kind of environment. Too much time working by myself, I suppose. I could get used to living like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tali likes this. <laughs> My people have visited here on their pilgrimage, but their descriptions of the wards hard. Not now. I'm watching the show. I bet you are. Go away. Let me let me drink you. Yeah, Harkin. Can we go back here still, or is it locked out? Oh, we can. There's virtually nothing here anymore. Is there going to be anything back here? What the hell? I heard giggling. It doesn't look like there's anything here, and that chair's still knocked over. Yeah, there is indeed nothing back here. Shame. What the? Well, that's a waste of a light. <laughs> this is a very giggly place. Well, they look happy. All right, let's get let's just let's just get to flux. I mean, it's, it's the, um, we've got to get out of here quickly. You don't know why I'm wasting time, really. We know what's at stake. Like literally, the galaxy is at stake. So let's get to flux, and then hopefully we'll get off of this place. Whoa, what? What did he do? What happened here? Yeah, what is it? What happened? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. But you were cheating, were you not? I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. Oh? It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. So why do it? Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Um, that does sound a bit cheaty. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. Sneaky. I just need a few more wins recorded. Uh, device? What, about, what, is, what is this device? Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Uh, what about payment? What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly... Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. 
Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. I'd like to see them do that to a spectre. They'd lose their heads. And what did you hear exactly? Is that Anderson? Yeah, that's Anderson. Let's not talk to him yet. I want to cheat some gambling machines. Hey, Jenna. Hey there. Welcome to Flex. Thank you. Well, I guess I want to play some Quasar. Oh, high stakes. I saw. I guess I want to play high stakes. Ah, this is where the cheaty machine was. Uh, what about this one? Uh, Quasar. 200 credits to play. Get closest to 20 without going over. Payout. Da, 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 da. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that seems easy enough. Okay, so I'd want to eight randomly, I believe, or one to or four to seven randomly. Okay, so we've got to get closest to twenty without going over. Right, that should be good. Whew. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay out there. I'm gonna play again. All right, add one to eight. I'm gonna add four to seven now. Another four to seven. And I wonder if this could be risky. Oh, nice! Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna quit now, and I'm gonna play some. We've got high stakes. We've got low stakes. Are there, are there medium stakes? I'm gonna play some low stakes. Just to stop raising suspicion. Where is it? There it is. Wow, that payout's low. <laughs> Alright, add four to seven. Another four to seven. And I'm gonna add one here. This is gonna Go oh, nice! Play again. Add four to seven. Another four to seven. And a one to eight. Oh, that'll do. Your luck seems unnatural, human. Nope, I'm just very lucky. Now let's go to another machine so he doesn't get suspicious. Alright, another high stakes. Although these really aren't high stakes at all. I mean, I've got 10 million credits, practically. Alright, another one. Four to seven, sorry. And a one to eight. Oh, nice. Alright, that's enough wins. And we're done. And we weren't found out. I am very glad about this. Alright, uh, let's get this data back to him. That wasn't very much payment, to be fair, but... So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Of course I did. Here you go. I hope it's what you're looking for. Excellent indeed. This will provide me with invaluable data. If you enjoy those winnings, I'm gonna get the system completed. Well, that wasn't too... Oh, no guns! Well, that wasn't... I See, I don't feel bad about helping him out, because I don't think he was doing any real harm. Hello? Soldier, oh. I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Uh... Have you had too much coffee? What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course! Right to business! That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy! My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are! I get it. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Uh... What is this stimulant, exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Yeah, you do sound like a bit of an addict. 
If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. Have a little faith in the guy, or woman. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Um... Yeah, what's this negotiation for? Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. I'm sure I'll be okay. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. We are Healer, reasonable. you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Then the game is wrong. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. Uh, I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. Get help now. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant! Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. That's because you're addicted. Get help! There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're... you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll... I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. All right, well, that was a bit of a situation. All right, you know what I see? Let's get in there and talk to Anderson. We've got to get going with this mission. We've got to get off the Citadel. Anderson, what's up, buddy? I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. Yeah, now I know how you felt. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. It's not that simple, though. I can't. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's gonna happen to you, though? If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the Conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. And what about my crew? Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Yeah, I think we do. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happens. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. No, that's too dangerous. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. I'm gonna have to say the office. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. 
You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Oh, I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. <laughs> all right. It's all a go now. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. Oh, hey, that's good to hear. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. <laughs> I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. <laughs> what the hell? Why am I dancing with a volus? Holy crap, that's a horrible dance. Why is the music in these places always so loud? It almost seems as if the people here want an excuse not to talk to each other. I think that is the reason, Liara. I really don't know, I couldn't tell you myself, but... Alright, there's only one place to go now. And that is CSEC. And back to the Normandy. Let's get going. Gotta get on there quickly. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Well, that's very good news. I mean, not so, no, I'm not so glad for Exogeny, they seem to be very greedy people. But for the colony, that's an excellent thing. That means their future is solid now. Which is a very good thing. Alright, we're here, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh? Hmm. There's a thing I could examine there. Huh. I just examined the hull. The Normandy is amazing, Shepard. It's an honor to be among her crew. Hey, it's good to have you here. Seeing the ward stretching out before you really makes you appreciate the Citadel as a true wonder of Prothean engineering. Um, well, we did kind of find out they didn't make the Citadel just now, Liara. You might want to pay attention. You might want to pay some attention. It could be very helpful. Let's get in there. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Oh, I like the music. What are you doing here? I didn't send. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Good going, Anderson. Oh, no, let's get, get us out of here, Joker. Now, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, yes. Anderson won't be happy, but I don't give the slightest of stuffs. All right, now we're free of the Citadel. And I don't believe we can go back, because if we go back, we'll just get locked down again. So, let's see what we've got to do. Go to Ilos. And I'm going to leave the video here. In the next video, I'm going to do the codex reading thing, I believe. And then I'm going to go around and scan... More look at most of the planets. I might not do the planet thing, I don't know. In fact, no, I'm gonna do the planet thing, as I said. And I think I'll do it as sort of like I'll do the planet thing without any commentary. And then I'll do the codex reading in a little window in the corner with the commentary. Like do two separate videos and just overlay them one over the other. So we'll get the planets done and the codex reading done in one video, hopefully. So until then. 
Bye for now.